Living in Mallorca sounds wonderful, right? It's a paradise. Beautiful beaches and nice weather. That's exactly what I saw when I first came in 2016 and the second time, 2017, for a holiday in Mallorca. But you know what? I've been living here almost four years now and I can tell you that living in Mallorca and traveling in Mallorca are two different things. In this video, I'm going to share some negative parts of living in Mallorca. If you are interested in moving to Mallorca, then you should watch it until the end. The first negative thing about living in Mallorca. Mallorca is boring. You're like, what are you saying, Eva? You're crazy. Mallorca is super fun. Yeah, this is the story when you came to travel here, usually on maybe summertime. Summer in Mallorca is totally different from winter in Mallorca, you know? In summertime in Mallorca, all the terrace, uh, bars, uh, cafeterias, restaurants, chiringuitos, you know, full of people, enjoying the sun. You know, it's very lively everywhere you go. But in the winter, it's pretty boring. It's very quiet, really. Like one of the subscribers actually asked me like, oh, hey, I'm thinking about moving to Mallorca or oh, I went to Calador area and it was very lively and all and I love the vibes. Yeah, I love the vibes there as well in the summer, but you know, many resorts uh, along the beaches. There are many hotels and they are closed, I don't know, now in November, no, October at the end of October or November, so when you go to that area, it's not the same. It's totally empty, maybe some local people, local bars, but it's not something you've seen from your holiday. So I'm living in the center of Mallorca, but even so, it's very quiet, unless you go to the party area for drinking, but weekdays, I don't think there are a lot of people because Mallorcan people, local people here, um, they don't like they don't like cold weather. So in winter time, they just hang out with the family in the house or you know or friends eating at the restaurant. But it's really totally different thing, you know. Mallorca summer vibe and the winter vibes are really different. So if you're expecting the summer vibes of Mallorca then you'll be very bored, I can tell you, really. It happened to me exactly and I was like really bored. Don't get me wrong, I go hiking, I go excursion to the beach. I mean, it's very nice, there are no people, like less people, but it's something is missing, which is people, like... When it's summer, it's, there are too many people, but, but then in winter time, there's like too little people and you're like... Hello? <laughs> yeah, the streets are pretty empty after night, you know, so I don't feel like going outside either. Yeah, unless it's like Friday or Saturday, you know, so you can, I can tell you that in the winter time, uh, except for the nightlife maybe, but it's also not the same, so I don't know. Summer in Mallorca is very nice, but in winter time, if you have a partner or really good friends, group of friends living here, or really you really like, uh, you're an introvert and and you like really peaceful vibes. I think then <laughs> Mallorca is the best place for you. The second negative thing about living in Mallorca is that your mobility is pretty limited. Because the public transportation is really bad. If you have traveled here for a holiday to Mallorca, then I think you rented a car, right? Because with the public transportation, it's impossible to go to one place to the other in a, like, in a short time. There's metro, there are buses of course, but then you have to wait for a really long time for the next bus if you miss the bus and it will take much longer time to arrive to your destination. It's not like Madrid or Barcelona. If you want to move to Mallorca, you should get a car. Yeah. If not, it's really difficult to go to a nice excursion or go to the nice beaches. So that's why I always depend on other people. So I think 
Now for now, my workplace, I can go there by bus, public bus. It doesn't take so long, but in the future I need to <laughs> get a car to get my independence. I don't have to depend on other people to pick me up, to bring, bring me there. And it's not so good, yeah. So that's why one of my friends, she got a car and she told me that she feels so free because she can go anywhere she wants by car and she doesn't have to wait for boyfriends to take her to places, you know? So you have freedom if you have a car, but if not, there is a lot of suffering, I can tell you. So if you want to move to Mallorca, you need a car. Let's move on to the next one. The last negative part of living in Mallorca is that it's not so easy to meet friends like local friends maybe it's just me you're like oh no i'm very extroverted i'm very outgoing i have no problem making new friends hello <laughs> have you ever watched my youtube videos i'm really super social person if you see my other blogs i can talk with random people on the street and you know i can be friends with everybody Un until i came here so imagine yeah, so it's pretty difficult, so just be ready for it. But if you have your expat community and maybe join the internet group, like maybe Facebook, I don't use it, but maybe that will help you. I met my friends through Instagram. <laughs> it sounds more so weird, right? <laughs> but I ended up meeting really good people and I can call them my friends. Yeah, we have same interests and all, so I feel lucky right now and I'm smiling and feeling happy, but it was not so good. I was feeling so lonely living here, you know, I like my job, but you know, I, okay, I, I, I feel like crying again. No, <laughs> that was like dark days, you know, I was happy in general living in here, but not having my own friends made me really sad sometimes or depressed but maybe you will do better i don't know just just to let you know maybe it's just my experience i don't know tell me how was your experience living here making friends i'd love to hear from you i think i want to say one more thing for my female subscribers or female viewers who wants to move to palma de mallorca in my previous video, Living in Paradise, I said, yeah, Mallorca is pretty safe compared to other areas that is worse than here. If you haven't watched it yet, seven good things about living in Mallorca, it's here, okay? Can you believe that? I've never been to parties alone, <laughs> even with the girlfriends, because they don't live next to me. Maybe I feel so safe because I never went outside uh, when the sun goes down in winter time or even in the summertime. Summertime there are a lot of tourists so it's not a big deal but yeah in winter time I hardly ever go out uh, when the sun goes down you know. I don't feel very safe because there are no people on the street and if some strange guy like harass you or something then there's no one to help you. I don't want to risk something bad happen to me, so I just don't go outside. So that's my reality that I'm living in, which I really don't like it. But in my country, from like South Korea, I never feel, felt this way, really. Unless you go to really strange area, but really everywhere there are people. I sometimes go out to have a drink with my friends and finish like three or four. Even so, I can just take a taxi, relax, or walking on the street and nothing happened. My local female friends, Mallorquinas, also told me that they prefer to meet during the day because at night things can happen, you know, like everywhere in the world. Being a woman is really fantastic many times, but being a woman can be sucked. Maybe it's just me. Maybe your experience will be different. Just to let you know, and be careful, okay? I just wanted to let you know, okay? For my female subscribers, okay? I hope my videos, three negative things about living in Palma de Mallorca help you to get to know a little bit about cons of living in Mallorca because everybody just thinks that Mallorca is fantastic, everything. No, it's not true. No, no, <laughs> it's a no, beautiful no, no, no. place, I love it here, but there are things that I don't like about it, not just me and other people don't like about it. Anyway, I hope 
this was helpful for you and if you have any questions about moving to Mallorca or living in Mallorca or traveling around Mallorca just let me know in the comments or on my Instagram you can send me DM I hope you like it and I will see you soon okay have a nice day adios hasta luego